In this video, we will take a look at how to enable trusted launch capability that was recently uh, released by Microsoft in the Azure platform at a host pool level so that all hosts created inside of that host pool will automatically be uh, enabled for trusted launch. So let's go ahead and open up a workspace and go ahead and open up one of our host pools here. So for instance, uh, if we take this app attach demo host pool, if we go to properties of that host pool and go to the VM deployment page, you'll notice there is a new option called trusted launch and trusted launch is a, a way to improve security of generation two VMs, which means that one of the requirements for trusted launch to work is that the image that you're using and the VM that's being created is a generation two VMs, VM. There is also a link here to learn more about this feature, which also lists certain limitations of trust and launch. For example, this is the current list of supported VM sizes and the supported operating system disks. Uh, so just be sure to review uh, your environment against this Microsoft article to make sure that you meet the requirements. Once you verify that the requirements are met, enabling trusted launch is extremely easy. You simply turn on the trusted launch option, and then you have two trusted launch capabilities. One is called Secure Boot, uh, which is basically a way to protect your VMs against boot kits, root kits, and kernel level malware. And there's also something called VTPM, which is, stands for Virtual Trusted Platform Module uh, and is uh, compliant with uh, T TPM 2.0 and validates the VM boot integrity uh, apart from storing the security keys and secrets. So typically you will check both of these options, enable trusted launch and click save and close. And now any newly created VMs inside of this host pool will automatically be enabled with trusted launch uh, capability. So really easy and, and a good way to enable this new security capability introduced by Microsoft at the host pool level and really not have to think about it because any hosts that will be built inside of this host pool will have trusted launch enabled, uh, assuming that the prerequisites are met. And again, the prerequisites are a generation two image that you're creating the VM from and also um, the VM size must be on the list of supported VM family sizes. Hope you found this useful, and I look forward to seeing you in future videos.